Well, this is all new for me. Um, we'll see how tonight goes. Should be interesting. She's looking at me like I'm crazy already. <laughs> uh, I have begun a new. So, this is supposed to be the beginnings of a new series. So, welcome if this is your first time. Glad you're here. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> there are two ways to approach understanding life. One is from the bottom up, which is difficult at best. The other is from top down, which for most will be theoretical. In the work that we do, the intention is to do both. To understand life from the bottom up means to understand where we are, what our possibilities are, what we can do and what we can't do. Understanding life from the top down is to do with understanding the laws, the rules that govern the universe the energies that flow through it, and the consciousness that animates all, including us. So tonight I'm going to introduce you to both. This should be fun. Okay. In classes before this, I have spoken of the laws and Whatever you think of the laws, you should think one word, numbers, numbers. The symbol, the symbols of the laws are through number. So we have within, uh, mm -hmm. the manifest universe. <clears throat> the first point of appearance is as light. As light. Light further expresses itself through color, which if you will, are energetic frequencies of light. Color, of course, gives description to frequency. And you know, within the color scale that we're used to, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. The slowest is at this end the fastest at this. And these are the resonant frequencies that are seen as, an ex as the expressions of light throughout the universe. So we go from light to color and then to number. And the number represents the laws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
goodness we got it right in the first grade. Mm -hmm. But the laws are much, much more than just a way to count or quantify. The laws are the rules by which all works. So I thought tonight I would show you the interweave of the laws and color and light. So a great place to start is with an eraser. <laughs> we'll come back to color. If we view the Milky Way That's pretty much where we live, somewhere in there. Yeah? <coughs> Bless you. If that's the sun, that's the earth. No offense, but we are out in the sticks. Okay? But within the Milky Way, are many powerful influences which we recognize in the art of astrology. And we recognize, for instance, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Answer. Leo. Virgo. Twelve. Twelve constellations. Twelve constellations. That pretty much govern what goes on here, in one sense. For the laws come from the source and are expressed out through the entirety of the manifest universe. Now when we look up and look to the constellations that govern, it's easy to see how the laws play through this. Each constellation is unique. Each is unique. and original. Each is unique and original. Now certainly, each person born here is born within a certain time. And when we look from Earth at the sun, the person born during this time would say, oh, the sun was an Aries. The sun was an Aries.